The Asheville Area Arts Council launched a new arts and wellness program for veterans in just this past September. And we saw the need um, based on some other work that had been started in the community um, here at Odyssey Clayworks, as well as a doctor at the VA hospital had a creative writing program. And we really wanted to be able to develop a new signature program for ourselves while also collaborating with other organizations or individuals to grow impact. There are a lot of arts-based experiences here, but not one specifically for veterans, and we are trying to target veterans um, in particular with PTSD or traumatic brain injury symptoms. There's a lot of data and, and evidence from the last decade where they, it, it is really opening a lot of eyes to the benefits of incorporating arts into healing and recovery. The Ramble Charitable Fund is increased by sales within the Ramble, and that goes, a certain percentage of that goes to the Charitable Fund, which is used for grant making. They enjoy getting requests that offer something a little bit different, so when they received this request from the Asheville Area Arts Council that very specifically helped veterans in, in, in their service community. Through an art program, they jumped on it and they thought it was a great opportunity for them. When we heard that we had the opportunity to impact veterans and it combined with the arts and the therapeutic opportunity, it really became something we became very interested in. Uh, the Asheville Arts Council has such a high level uh, reputation the first time that we released information that we were offering this program, we were inundated with other individuals as well as organizations who really want to be involved for the future. All of our programs are at capacity, completely full, the ones that we've offered this fall. We have a lot of excitement for what's to come during the spring. Another really great thing that we're going to be able to do with the support of the Rainbow Foundation is um, offer two one-day workshops for 16 veterans in each of those classes at the Shiloh Community Center after the new year. We're very dependent and we're very thankful for the Community Foundation. You have a corpus amount of money to be able to grow that. We don't want to grow it for return for us. The more that fund grows, the more people we're able to help. One of the leadership roles we want to play is encouraging other people to come alongside us in different programs, especially unique programs. It's always fun when you get to see things play out, but when you get to see it play out in a collaborative nature such as this, that's, uh, that's rewarding.